Hello, minions, and welcome to the lens flares of the Starship Enterprise. I need to get a blind for that window. Anyway, Happy New Year. I'm going to try and record this and upload it today, New Year's Eve 2020, the last day of the longest year for humanity. Um, but I wanted to kind of do some wrap-up stuff. I've been doing a lot of, like story times and random video uploads and I've also been I was like doing like every day for a couple of weeks there and then uh, with rebuilding my computer and messing with my hard drives and stuff things got a little whacked so looking forward to 2021 fresh start getting a good rhythm going I am gonna nail it um, but I want to again just kind of like do a little I don't want to do like an annual wrap up. I don't think I've done enough significant this year to, to really justify that. But here's what's going on. Here's where we're going. Let's try and make it quick and sweet. So what have I been doing? I've been playing Assassin's Creed. I've been playing Jedi Fallen Order. I've been playing a little bit of Alien Isolation that kind of fell on the back burner because the new consoles have kind of been like Assassin's Creed Valhalla's big one. I played Call of Duty Cold War. If you guys didn't see my story time for that, it's like eight episodes. And my story time stuff, the stuff where I'm talking during it, some of it is like some of the most... I go back and rewatch it, and it's hilarious. Anyway, if you haven't watched my Cold War uh, gameplay for the actual campaign, go do that. Then a little bit of multiplayer. I have been away from video games for like two weeks. Like, other than hopping on a little bit here and there, um, playing a little bit of Forza and stuff like that. I did play a little bit of Assassin's Creed Valhalla the last couple of days, so I got new videos for that. Actually, one just posted two days ago, and I got another one coming up. So... If you go and look at my channel right now and all my videos, um, I'm going to do this. So I stop peeking over. I got OBS running over here. That's why I keep like glancing over at the other screen. And I'm just going to put it under my camera so that when I glance, it's not as dramatic. Cool. <laughs> I, uh, if you look at my channel right now, I look like a Let's Play channel. Um, because I, the most of the, the vast majority of the content I've been posting has been me playing these single player games. And although I still stand behind the idea that if I'm going to be playing single player games, it's good to get that content up. And I know some people, and I don't have a big following in general, but some people are getting some value out of that content. That said, some of my more, what I want the channel to be about, helping people play games and, and having fun playing games and friends with and playing games with friends, stuff like that, is getting lost in the noise. So I think what I'm, my plan going forward, and I was gonna go back and kind of reorganize my channel to help clean it up, but I think rather than doing that, I'm just gonna, 2021, going forward, clean it up. So what I'm gonna do is when I post my story time and cinematic gameplay videos, I am not gonna post every single one of them to my page, which means it won't hit the subscriptions either. I'm basically gonna start posting most of them as unlisted um, and then add them to the appropriate playlists and then once a week try and do an update video like this so you guys can see my face at least more regularly, which I know you're really disappointed about because I don't have a great face. Doesn't matter. So it'll be like, hey, I posted whatever, two or three videos of Assassin's Creed this week and I posted... Uh, some Jedi Fallen Order and the the story time stuff will still be there because I'm, be, I'm gonna be playing those games anyway might as well make content out of it but hopefully not gonna flood the channel so if you have like a series that you really like uh, like you're really digging Assassin's Creed or whatever or you're you're not gonna be flooded with all of this shit that maybe you're not interested in um, and things like Jedi Fallen Order were kind of like a proof of concept for doing this obviously it's not a relevant game right now um, the most relevant game I could be doing right now would be Cyberpunk 2077. And the reason I'm not is because it's not a game that I'm really interested in. I'm not a huge fan of RPG games. Um, plus, everybody's doing it right now. So, um, I'm excited for some things going forward, like new content. I'm looking forward to new games. One thing that I will touch on in its own video is I have been enjoying the shit out of Xbox Game Pass. Um... So I will talk about that. I got some more thoughts on PS5, Series X, all that stuff. I'm going to be doing a bunch of this stuff. If you have an Xbox, even not a Series X or a Series S, if you've got an Xbox One and you don't have Game Pass and you have a D and you play video games, I mean, I, I got it because I thought the kids would really enjoy it. I got the Series S out in the den. I got my Series X in here. I figured with the Series S because it's all digital, and I'm not going to buy a bunch of digital games. Game Pass is like, okay, I pay 15 bucks a month, and there's a bunch of digital games the kids can play. 
Well, I also got Forza 7, Forza Horizon 4, all of the Microsoft first party games are on there. EA, EA Play comes in. I've got the Game Pass Ultimate. So it's $15. If you get just the console one, it's like 10 bucks. But still, that's like most of it. And not only is it, it's, I'm not gonna get into too much here. It's awesome, so I'm gonna talk about it more. Not in this. Uh, around five minutes already. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. It's kind of how I'm gonna modify things a little bit going forward. So I may post like every fifth or 10th episode to the subscription feed, just to kind of remind people that it's there, but I'm not even sure I'm gonna do that. I'm, I'm gonna, if I start a new game, I'll definitely post like the first episode or two as a subscription thing to the channel to where it pops up and you get, if you if you ring that notification bell and you get notified, um, it'll pop up there. And if you go to my channel page where it just has all the videos, it'll be listed there. The ones that I'm doing is unlisted will be in the playlists. So if you go to that playlist, you'll still be able to find them. You just won't get notified when they get uploaded. So that's the way I want to do it just because I, I don't want to start a separate Let's Play channel. I don't want to be about that life. Um, and I also, I don't like the way that my video feed looks. It is a bunch of Let's Play stuff. I don't like it. So going forward, that's, that's that for story time. Uh, more, I have been away from Call of Duty for a while, but I'm still a shooter fan in general. And I'm trying to figure out what value I can bring to the space for shooters, for Call of Duty specifically. There's a lot of good content out there. People doing crazy breakdowns. My free-for-all and my how to rank up fast, how to win free-for-all videos, I'm happy about those. They're lost in the video feed. If you haven't seen those, they're not hard to find, but they're in there. Um, some of my helpful videos, like how to bypass HDCP and how to fix the volume. The, my video for how to fix the volume on your on your headset on Xbox Series X has blown up. Like That feature is so fucked that thousands of people don't know how to fix the volume setting on their friggin' headset on Series X. So anyway, makes me feel good that I'm helping people. People are coming, oh my God, dude, I was about to buy a new headset anyway. So that, so that said, where can I bring value? Wheezy's War College has to come back. Uh, I, I keep getting myself in like this to, to keep contributing to the channel. I gotta be like content, 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 which is true. I don't wanna be a Let's Play channel, so just having that content and then scattering in what I wanna do, like the more helpful videos, the, you know, the, the Wheezy's War College stuff. I don't want that to be randomly scattered in and hard to find. I want that to be like what this is about. So that's gonna be longer to produce. Those videos will be more spread out. Those will be more of what you get notified about. I wanna do, I'm thinking the weekly update videos where I just like, here's some of the story time that I did that maybe not isn't listed, but also here's kind of what's going on. I'm hoping that I'll, that'll keep, get, get more of a rhythm going. So that's, that's kind of the idea there. Like at least getting my big ugly mug here once a week. Um, I want to get back into streaming again some more, I uh, think with the holidays and everything, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year, it's been a little bit crazy. So I wanted to do some streams in there and I just kind of, I ended up watching, sitting on the couch and watching movies a couple of times and I feel a little bit bad about that, but you know, it just had to be done. Um, so yeah, that, uh, it's kind of where I'm at. It's, I glanced over here. I've got this, uh, <laughs> As I'm currently recording this video to post to my YouTube channel, I'm currently downloading and archiving my entire channel, which I didn't realize as of right now is 1,015 videos. I guarantee you none of you have seen all of them. <laughs> um, but also I posted so many of them like literally years ago and it's just like I had all these rendered videos, I'm, I'm not gonna hold on to them. Now I have a, you know, a 12, 14 terabyte RAID array backup and I just recently upgraded my internet, so now I've got completely unlimited data. I don't have to worry about that shit. So I'm backing everything up to uh, Backblaze. So I've got like seven plus terabytes of data now being backed up to my cloud backup. That said, I decided I've got the storage space and the bandwidth for it. I'm gonna just download all of my videos from my YouTube channel just so I have them. Because with the way YouTube's been, you never really know. So I'm just, I'm archiving all my content and getting it back. I also found a way, and I'll probably do this, well, I'll definitely do a separate video for this. I mentioned when I first came back from the dead, you guys, I was, if you don't know, I was gone for like five years. When I first came back from the dead, I talked about the direction for the channel. I also talked about open sourcing the channel and finding a way to give you guys access to my videos because I don't necessarily get them all rendered and processed. I record a lot of content that sits on my hard drive waiting for me to do something with it. 
including all of the wep weapon tactics videos for Modern Warfare that I didn't do, I captured clips and gameplay for every weapon in Modern Warfare, excluding the secondary weapons. Every primary weapon in Modern Warfare. And I made, what, six episodes of that? Some of the best ones, the Bruin, the Foul early on. It ended up being a good one at the end, but the beginning was trash. But anyway, um, how you know, if you guys, anyone who is around the channel that wants access to that stuff, I found a way to do it. I'll do a separate video about that. It's unidirectional. I create. I found this this open source uh, application called SyncThing, which essentially I've got it set up, and anyone who wants to do this will be able to set up SyncThing on their computer, give me their ID for their SyncThing. Um, I can create a one-way directory where essentially all of my video content that I've captured, I can say, hey, this is a shareable video, so you guys can't modify it, right? Because that would be a security issue. I don't want you guys writing files into my computer, <laughs> right? But I'm gonna do it to you if you want to. You can trust me, it's just video files. I'm not gonna hack your computer. Um, but you can turn it on and off, right? So you give me your unique ID, and then I give you mine, and then it synchronizes that folder automatically. So anytime I put something in that directory, it'll instantly start downloading to your computer and, and it can sync up. And you can, again, turn it on and off if it's like too much or whatever. But um, So I'll make a video talking about that. I found it for kind of this my other project. I'm doing this photography thing. Um, my, my business partner, uh, I need to be able to share some of the testimonials that I've recorded. And he lives in Oklahoma and I'm in Colorado. So it's hard to transfer gigabytes and gigabytes of data. Google Drive is not a great option because my 100 gigabyte Google Drive is almost full, plus my corporate drive for the photography thing specifically is like only 20 gigabytes. And we're talking about hundreds of gigabytes and when it comes to my stuff, terabytes of data. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to put, upload two terabytes of video as I'm capturing it into Google Drive and then share it with you guys. This allows me to literally stream it off my freaking RAID to you got to your computer. I already tested it with my laptop and it works great. Um, and it's friggin' fast, and like I said, I upgraded up to unlimited internet, so. Um, 12 minutes, that's, honestly, that's kind of what's going on right now. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna be talking more about the new consoles. I haven't spent much time on the PS5. The only thing I'm really playing on PlayStation right now is frickin' Fallen Order, which is not a PS5 game. Um, I'm looking forward to that PS5 getting kicked off. Well, uh, Cold War, obviously, on PS5. I haven't played that much either. Valhalla, I've been on my Xbox a lot, Game Pass. Game Pass, and I will probably I'll make some videos too about um, extended storage and stuff for the Xbox because I've got a three terabyte hard drive hooked out to the Series S, which again only works for non Series X and Series S optimized games because it's obviously not the high speed SSD. But if you got Game Pass, you're playing a lot of older games, and they can go on a hard drive. You can download. A terabyte, two terabytes. Three, I, I used a three terabyte drive, not because I'm using that much data for that, but just because I had an extra three terabyte drive. So that's what's out there. My PS5 right here is hooked to a two terabyte hard drive that I already had hooked to my PS4. Another cool feature about that, the PS4's, the hard drive that I had hooked to my PS4 to extend its storage, um, I just plugged into the PS5. That's why it's a smaller one. Um, but so like any PS4 games that I want to play on my PS5 are plugged right into the back of the PS5 there. This cord... There is the USB cord for my two terabyte external hard drive, which lives right here, just out of range behind the desk. We'll talk about that stuff more too. That's where I'm at. This has already gone too long. I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna throw my intro on this. End card, upload it. It's gonna go up today. You guys will probably see it after the new year. Happy new year. Merry friggin' Christmas. I'm sorry I missed you guys for that. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, I don't care. Happy everybody. Everybody's going to be happy. I'm going to make 2021 awesome for you guys because 2020, in the wider sense of the world, is going to be fucking awful. But it's going to be good for us because you guys are here and we got positivity and we're not going to get bogged down in that bullshit. And we're going to kick ass 2021. Happy New Year. Fucking Wheezy's Minions. See you guys later. <laughs>